How's it going, everyone? This is Chris here from Chris Designs, and as you can probably tell, I'm a little sick today. Um, I went to the doctor's and I tested positive for the flu, but that's no big deal. But today, I'm going to be bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial, and I'm going to explain to you how to make outline text with two different colors. If you don't know what I mean, I'll show you a picture. So right here is a picture that I did when I was really noobish to Cinema 4D. As you can see that I have an outline in the white and then my inner bevel on the text is blue. Um, if you don't know how to do this, it's not a big deal because it's very hard to figure out. Um, I had to do a lot of playing around with this to finally figure out and how everything worked in Cinema 4D. But I'm, gonna, I'm here to show you guys how to do it the easiest way possible. So go ahead and open up Cinema 4D. Excuse me guys, I'm a little sick today. Just please bear with me. Go ahead, if you did watch my last video on the best render settings in Cinema 4D, go ahead and apply those render settings, which is what I'm going to do now. So it looks good. So now you're going to want to go to your light tab and add a floor. And then you're going to want to go to MoGraph, text to object. Go ahead and type whatever you want. I'm going to type Chris. Then go ahead and align that to the middle. Change your font to whatever you like. I'm going to change my font to, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Bitsumishi, sure. Go ahead and adjust the depth to your liking. That looks good. Now, you're going to want to go to Caps. Where it says Start, and it says Cap, select the drop-down arrow, and select Fill and Cap. Do the same for the end. So you have a Fill Cap on the start, and a Fill Cap on the end. If you scroll down to steps, it should be on 1. That's good. Just leave that the way it is. Where it says radius, though, you're going to want to change that from a 5 to a 2. As well with the radius on the end, from 5 to a 2. As you can see, the inner bevel went down a little, which looks very good. It's, if it's kind of hard to see, that's because my computer and the screen. But I can see it very good on the R and the H. You might be able to see it, but if not, it's okay. So now, you're going to want to double click the materials, or command N, which will make new material. You're going to want to double click. Where it says color, you're going to want to select two. So, I'm going to select the white, and I'm going to add a reflection to it, just to give it a better effect. And you're going to want to hit command C, command V, to duplicate that. Go ahead and up to color, and select your secondary color. I'm going to select an orange. Now, whichever one you want to be your background color, as you can see here, the background color is white. So whichever one you want to be your background color, drag that onto your text first. So I want my white to be my background color. So there's not much difference, but there is. I did drag the white, as you can see up here. So now once your white is on there, you're going to want to drag your orange on there as well. Your whole text turns orange, which is no big deal. Now is where the outline comes in. Make sure you're selected on your orange material. Go down here where it says selection. Click in the box and type shift C and then a one. And then go ahead and click anywhere. As you can see, you get an outline text and it looks really good. For finishing touches, you can add a light. You can drag it almost all the way to the top of your text and a little out in front of it. So you can see the orange. Go to shadow and select shadow map soft and render it out and when it's done rendering you should get a very nice look as I do uh, some outline text or two-tone text whatever you want to call it and with the reflections it looks very good so that's it for the tutorial guys please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my bids thanks guys